Hey, what's up guys? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to another episode of Eric Meal Time and this is episode number 400. In this one, I'm going to be trying Japanese blowfish. So this could be the last episode because blowfish is poisonous. Let's hope they remove the poison, eh? The name of the place is Kisoji and got to go upstairs here in the elevator. Yep, we're in Tokyo. So this is all the different ways that you can eat blowfish. This is the sashimi style here. This is a hibachi style. You cook it yourself at the table. And this is a sort of like a fried type. And then it looks like a soup here. This is not soup. This is Japanese sake. That's right. It sure looks like soup though. Mm-hmm. This is going to be interesting. And they've got different side dishes as well too. A seafood salad. And this is an eggplant salad down here. Looks delicious. The sake has arrived and this is very interesting the way they prepare it with fire. Check it out. Okay, so here we go. This is blowfish sake. And this is the fin. The fin of the blowfish. Interesting. Andy, son, can we get a graphic of what a blowfish looks like? Let's show them. Yeah, I think you guys pretty much know, though. Going in. Oh, boy. This looks exotic. Oh, boy. It smells like a vinegar soup. Very potent, very, very potent. The first three dishes have arrived all together. Gorgeous colors, I like that. Yep, and this is eggplant right here, served in the eggplant. Look at that, that's a good size eggplant right there. Scallions on top, that looks delicious. And over here, this is a fried fugu, or fried blowfish, mmm. Yeah, so we start with the salad. Oh. We'll go right in for the magudo. Tuna. Oh, that's lovely. Nice greens, and it's a tangy dressing. I really like this dressing on here. Several different types of greens here. Looks like a piece of squid there. Mm-hmm. Wow, excellent salad. Mm. Moving on, let's try the eggplant. Ooh, it's nicely cut. Get the scallions on here. Eggplant, some of my favorite food right here. One of my favorite vegetables in Japan is definitely eggplant. because It's served so many different ways. Mm. Oh, it's hot. It's delicious. Very savory. Yeah, the texture of eggplant is almost meat like sometimes. You get that tanginess, that chewiness. Mmm. Oh, delicious. 
All right, and moving on. Let's try the fried chicken, except it's not chicken. It's blowfish. <laughs> Shall we put some of the lime on here? I think so. Yeah. Oh, let's definitely get some lime on there for the fried blowfish. Mmm. It's meaty. Got some bones in it. Soft bones, though. Thank goodness. Look at this. Look at the fleshiness of the blowfish. Make sure that they remove the poison here. We're gonna go in and take a close look. Yeah. The blowfish chefs in Japan have to go through a rigorous training school to learn how to prepare the blowfish. That's right, and how to properly remove the poison. Okay, so this is the hibachi style or barbecue. A bunch of different parts. Let's put this big piece on here. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Is it gorgeous or is it grotesque? I'll let you know. <laughs> Blowfish. This is exotic. Put some color on there. I'm surprised at all of the volume of meat there is in a blowfish. I thought it was all air. Where does all the meat come from? Oh boy, look at this. The next dish. Can you guess what this is? This is blowfish sashimi. That's right, it's raw. Looks like a little bit of skin here. And then it comes with some scallions, some daikon, some lime, mentaiko fish eggs. Interesting, huh? Some onions. So you can dress it how you like. And this is a pons, or pons dressing, which is a vinegar, light vinegar sauce. Here we go, going in for raw blowfish. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Mmm. I forgot to put it in the sauce. It's chewy. Mm -hmm. Chewy, but not, not too chewy. Not like squid. Oh, that's perfection with the sauce. Mmm. Wow. Delicious. Mmm. The texture is... Oh, how is it? It's perfect. It's really perfect. It almost tastes like it's cooked, if that makes any sense. It's a little bit chewy, kind of like fish jerky style almost. It's very nice. So every one of these cuts of meat is different. This is a very thick, plump meat. This one is, is kind of bony, not much to it. And this one's like a wing almost. So, a bit, bit tricky to cook. This one's gonna take a long time. I'd say this is ready. And it's been seasoned already, it looks like. So. Well, it's sizzling, huh? Should we wait for it to cool down a little bit? We'll eat the pepper first. Oh, that's nice. Not too hot. Ooh, a buttery matsutake mushroom. Hmm. Right, here it is. Going for the blowfish. This looks like perhaps the skin. It's kind of a thickness to it. Hmm. Almost chicken-like. Okay, going in for the meat. Oh my, look at that, it's almost like dark meat in there. Goodness. 
tastes like chicken. <laughs> but it's not. It's from the sea. Wow, really meat-like. It doesn't taste like I'm eating fish. That is pretty special. Yeah. There's some bone there. Spiny. Mm. It's pretty tasty. Pretty light, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's see, where's the meatiest part of this? This is tricky. Reminds me of a chicken wing. Here's a bunch of meat here. Get the flash. It's a very lean tasting fish, that's for sure. But surprisingly good. It's better than I would have expected, for sure. Definitely tasty. Mm hmm. But, on the other hand, not a whole lot of meat either. As I would have expected from blowfish. <laughs> yeah. The barbecue flavor is kind of like a chicken wing. Yeah. So there are similarities. See the bone like that? I you pull apart a chicken wing. Uh, no, it's blowfish. Very interesting. Look at this gorgeous dish. This is not blowfish, this is sawada fish served with daikon radish. Look at the size of that daikon radish. <laughs> and these are ginkgo nuts, ginan. Yeah, very seasonal presentation for fall. Yeah. Oh, look at that, how soft this is. Go right in for the fish. first non-blowfish type of fish. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. This is what fish should taste like. The fugu or blowfish has a lot of bones in it. I'll say that. Yeah, it's bony for sure. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Yeah. Let's pull one of these guys off here, these. From the ginkgo tree. Normally these are yellow, so green. Mm hmm. You know. Yum, yum. This should slice pretty easy. Cooked radish. Yeah. Look at that. Solid like. Yeah. And this, you can just find this everywhere in Japan. Basically, daikon radish is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hot. Hot and very soft. And that's delicious. Melts in your mouth. Yes, it does. Mm hmm. Oh boy, I can't get enough of this. Mm, the pureness of daikon radish. No, well, it's almost potato-like in texture. Super light. Yum. Mm. That's a nice dish. Let's have some more of the raw blowfish. 
I think this is my favorite, the raw. You know, put it in the Pons dressing. Goes really well with the Pons dressing. Some scallions on there. Mm. This is the best way to eat blowfish for sure. Mm -hmm. Sashimi style. Definitely. No bonds. Yeah. If you come to Japan and you order blowfish, do it this way, sashimi style, for sure. Yeah. I don't think we've tried the skin yet. This looks like the skin here. Have you done this yet? We'll do a little mixture. Get some of these other onions. Let's do that. Ooh. This looks like jellyfish. It's gonna be a big bite. Mm. No, I like the other better. This stuff, this stuff is banging right here. Look at that. Yeah. Put a little bit of fish eggs on there. This this is super salty. Let's see, upon closer inspection here, it's not as salty. This is these are not fish eggs. It looks very much like fish eggs, but it's daikon, and then it's it's a red pepper which is in here, mixed together. Uh, so much nicer <laughs> than fish eggs, I think. Yeah, not that salty. Spicy, but now salty. Oh, we haven't tried this yet. Inside the sake, this is the blowfish fin. The fin, really? Is that legal? <laughs> yeah, there it is. The question is, is it edible? Well, I guess if they serve it to you, you can see the, yeah, the bones in it. Oh. oh, this is harsh. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't like it. <laughs> and last but not least is the dessert. I hope there's no blowfish in here. I hope this is not blowfish guts. Yeah. No, it can't be. I think that's mochi. Mm -hmm. And then azuki beans in the middle there. Fruit, ice cream, grape. And look at this. This is a topping. This is a brown sugar sauce. Yeah. In Japanese, they say kuromitsu. Like a honey. Brown sugar syrup. Yeah. All right, going in. Look at how pretty this is, huh? Comes in a basket. I think what I liked about the meal this afternoon was all the different dishes. That's what I liked the most. Presentation it was fantastic. Go right in for some ice cream and azuki beans. That's the combo. Goes well with the brown sugar topping. Mm -hmm. Brown sugar syrup. Mm -hmm. Try some melon. It's a good dessert, <clears throat> you know, so now it's time to rate this meal. And this is a tricky one. This is definitely a tricky meal because it's very, it was very deluxe, ordered a lot of stuff. But on the whole, the main thing was the blowfish, the fugu. And 
overall it's a pretty plain flavor for fish. There's not a whole lot to it. It's bony. So being that that was the main meal, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna give it a five overall. It's pretty darn good. Definitely unique. It was interesting. Definitely high up there on the unique scale. Yep, or on the gut scale for trying something different. Yeah. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I wanna thank you for watching. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments below. We'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team, get some.